this is Werps. Welcome to the best guide on here for this game. I have played for 220 right. hours so far. The game's been out like a Why month. Me? So it's kind of a lot. I pretty much know everything. So let's start. Snare Flea. This is a pretty easy to deal with enemy. Even if you are alone, if you just stop moving, if it goes on you and you have no shovel, because if you do have a shovel or a stop sign or something, you can get it off easily. But if you don't, you can just stand still and it'll go away. I, it keeps happening. I don't know why it does that, but it does. If you do have a shovel or a stop sign or a yield sign, you can scan to figure out where your loot dropped and then try to just blindly grab it and then you can swing and it'll hit it off your own head. Now for the hoarding bug, these little mantis looking dudes just wander around grabbing items and stashing them somewhere of their choice. If you yoink one of their items, they will most likely attack you. If you have an item they want or you just linger around them too long, probably one or the other. I, I'm not sure which one it is, but they can attack you. They're not that difficult to deal with if you have a shovel as they have very, very bad turning. Like you can just orbit around them very easily and just bonk them a few times with the shovel. Or if they're zooming at you from down a hallway, you can just joust them while like circling around as you swing and you can deal with them pretty easily. And for the circuit bees, these always appear with their hives, which are basically free money. The method to collect these juicy balls is best done alone to prevent the bees from becoming a free roaming death swarm when they can't find their hive. You approach the hive at a bit of an angle away from your intended direction, walk up to bait the bees, then sprint around them, grab the hive and start running in the direction of the ship. But you need to drop it when your stamina bar visibly depletes. You will still have a bit of stamina after that, which should get you enough distance from the bees that you are not going to die. You should have no weight for this, so drop everything prior to doing so, or it's going to be much more dangerous. So you just keep doing that until you're closer to the ship via leapfrogging it. At that point, you get the hive onto the rear catwalk opposite of the door, and then once you take off, once you've actually flipped the switch of the ship and it is flying away, you walk out of the door around the catwalk and grab the hive. The bees will disjoint from it so you can safely collect a few beehives if you get some teammates to cooperate with you. If you're alone for some reason, which I don't recommend, then you can put the hives on the side of the ship instead a little closer to the front door to give you some time to go out a few times because there's not that much time to work with, maybe like 10 seconds and slimes. Slimes are just blobs of evil. They are kind of non-threatening, but also extremely annoying. They will kill you if you touch them. You can leap over them, and they like to sit at the main entrance and just kill anyone that comes in. You can use the boom box to lead them away, as it will speed them up while it's on for some reason, and hopefully seal it in a door somewhere. Even a regular door can keep a slime out, so if you lead it into a dead end with a regular door, you can close it and he'll be stuck in there. Bunker spiders. These spiders will spin a bunch of webs when they spawn. If they see you during this period, they will just stop and stare at you, seemingly forever, unless you get in within like five feet of them, in which case they'll attack you. If you want to defeat them, you can with a shovel pretty easily. They do a lot of damage, like they will two-shot you. It is very quick, but if you have a shovel, you can go on a railing to beat them for free, or if there is no railing or little pipe or anything in range that you can stand on, you can just backpedal down a hallway while smacking it and like lightly tapping your sprint key. You just need to stay just far enough away so that it doesn't hit you. You have more range than it, so you can just keep doing that. You can also sprint circle around them while hitting them. Just keep enough distance so that you don't die and you can deal with them pretty easily. If you touch their webs or attack their webs, they will come after you, so you can bait them into a place you want to fight them. Now for thumpers. They are very common considering how dangerous they are. They make a loud thumping sound when patrolling around, shockingly. They can be killed from high ground or rails, just like the spiders can. However, if you run into a thumper in close proximity, it actually won't charge at you. It will very slowly start crawling at you. You can just walk up to it with the shovel at this point and just smack it to death while just backing away gently. And if it does have enough distance that it wants to charge, you can leap over it and then try to start smacking it in that way. They only take four hits to die, 
but yeah, they are painful. They do 30 damage, so if they hit you three times, you'll be critically injured, and you won't be able to survive as you'll be extremely slowed. Spore lizards. These are squishy lizard dog boys that just fart a cloud of pink mist. They don't matter at all. They just chill and make SpongeBob walking noises. The mist does nothing. They will bite you if you walk up to them and hug them, but it doesn't do that much damage, so they are fine. Forest Keepers, aka Giants. These things are kind of busted right now. They're extremely fast. They can notice you on across extreme distances, even if you're crouched and motionless, which is supposed to make it so they don't see you, but they do anyway for some reason. There is a small grace period between when you're spotted and when they'll start running at you, and if you get behind something relative to them, it can make it so they won't come at you. But once they're already running at you, obviously, then they'll investigate your last known location. So if you have a thick enough object, you can actually shimmy around it and they'll forget you exist. So if you have a big thick tree, it has to be thick, or like a rock or something, you can use that. Otherwise, the best way to deal with them is probably the teleporter. If you have a guy on the terminal, you can teleport them. Like, kind of even when the giant first grabs them, you still have enough time to teleport out of their grasp. So if you do that, you can get someone to bait the giants away to like let your other teammates approach, or you can just keep grabbing whoever gets snatched up with the teleporter until you finally have all the stuff on the ship. The stun grenades will incapacitate them for a bit, but it's kind of expensive, and yeah, it's not that great. It's possible. It's a thing you can do. Zap gun's not that effective, but I mean, if you have one for some reason, you can stun them to give yourself enough time to regen more stamina to start running again, but otherwise, that's pretty much it. They'll sometimes get stuck on the monkeys that will attack them for some reason, and that can be helpful, but don't count on it. Eyeless dogs, the good old noob killers. These things can hear you talk. They can hear any noise that you can hear. If you can hear it, they can hear it. And if they are in range, so you can hear them footstepping around, they can hear most of the noises you do. So if you hear them, they hear you sprint. However, they won't hear you walk unless you're like halfway of that range, maybe like 10, 15 feet. You can still walk freely. Crouch walking is always safe 100% of the time. But careful dropping items because that makes noise. So don't talk over your microphone. You can intentionally talk over your microphone or make noise or like use a shovel to smack the ground if you want to bait them to a certain area. Once they hear enough noise, they will charge the area where they heard the most recent noise. So if you're sprinting away, that will be at you constantly and they will aggro all other dogs in the vicinity to also attack you. Now they can actually die as of the most recent update. They take 12 hits to die, which is kind of a lot. If you really want to, you could get a friend to zap gun them and then smack them with a shovel for a while, which is possible, but you can also kill them solo in a few ways. These being, if you bait them to the front of the ship door, you can aggro them and then close the door, they will just, leap like, against it and it you can hit you. them through the wall. Even without being able to see them, you can just repeatedly smack with a shovel. Hello, Mr. Dog. Now, it, if this works, it's pretty easy, but if they aren't in the proper place, then they'll get revenge. So you have to kind of look at the radar when you're doing that to make sure they're actually out there on the other side of the door when you're smacking it because they will kill you afterwards if they aren't. The way to do it without the ship door is to kind of bait them to like a wall uh -oh. or like the edge of the map and you oh. get them to Should charge at now. it and you just run up to them like full commit and smack them again when they're in that slide animation. And for some reason it makes them repeat the same slide animation in that same direction. So you can just hit them until they die and they'll keep sliding against the wall. They're a little unpredictable in terms of sliding though. They have done some insane slides that make no sense and just ping pong off of walls and kill me instantly. It's just a risk you have to take. You can also distract these by calling in a store purchase by just buying like a walkie talkie 
and the dogs in range will all rush the pod and attack it for a while. You can use this to clear out the stairs of Titan or around the ship to make it safe for teammates to return. Just make sure when you do it, they aren't in the path that the dogs will take to get to the pod, which can easily kill people as they won't be able to predict they're going to run through them. The Bracken, aka the Flower Man, or the Shadow Man. The Bracken will attempt to silently creep <laughs> behind their wow. target, instantly killing them, if successful. They have a decent AI and will wait for good moments to strike. They know where you're looking, they know where you're going. Wow. And you'll need to watch your back. They will repeatedly circle around to try to find the best route to gank you. They have, they, oh. they start in stealth mode, where they are creeping around and if you spot them in that mode by getting them within like the middle like 60 percent of your screen then they will enter retreat mode and in that mode you have about 1.5 seconds grace period but after that if you look at them you have an increasingly rapid chance of making them kill you so look at them once to make them start running and and they'll, they'll start jiggling and make a noise when it happens and don't look at them past that at all that's pretty much how it works. You can kill them. I think it takes like three shovel hits. You kind of have to cheese them unless you want to use a stun grenade or a zap gun, which is possible. But if you want to cheese them solo with a shovel, you have to use the rail trick. So you, you get on a rail and you have to back up on the rail as if you're about to fall off on the opposite direction where they can't reach. So this is usually over a death pit. It's a little dangerous, but it will make it so almost nothing can actually hit you, including the little girls, coil heads, jesters, brackens. So yeah, that, that railing trick can be kind of used on everything right now. Earth Leviathan, or sandworms as I like to call them. They make a unique growling sound when they're following you, not when in proximity. It's only when they're actually following you. They're not that fast. They're kind of like default player walking speed without any items so you can just walk away from them in a straight line like that casually back to the ship if you don't have much but if you do have stuff you will have to drop it to get the speed required to get away you can kind of try to bait them by just like suddenly sprinting backwards and it may make them attack and leave but they have a very random time at which they will choose to one start the attack they, they, they may not start the attack even though you're overlapping them completely, even though they're right under you. They're very random. And then another random aspect is the delay. So once they start the attack, the ground will rumble and quake and, and there's like a visible dust cloud or whatever there. And that is random too. I've had that happen in like an unreactable amount of time. And then I've also had it be like multiple seconds long for an easy escape. So... It's kind of just random if you survive. If you die to the worm, your items will be destroyed. Haven't really found a good way to counter it. I don't think there is one. You just run. Baboon hawks. These birds will orbit a creature or you and squawk. If they have a pack, they can also decide to attack. So if you see two and they're squawking at you, they might attack. And they'll go into combat mode for like, I think it's eight seconds. They will just run at you and they can attack while moving so you should run you can also just kind of sweet spot them with a shovel if you're running away it's a little dicey they hurt a lot and attack very fast so you can actually push these into a dog by just like walking at them and if you push it into the radius of the dog them squawking will aggro the dog and then they'll fight if there's two baboons or three, they have a decent chance of actually beating the dog. If it's one, it'll just lose. So that's a, a fun little interaction there. You can also just, Touching if there's him, one, you can just run up and smack him. You'll have to corner him against a wall. Ow. They do steal items oh if God. they see oh them, but God, they don't really try crazy. very hard to do so. It doesn't matter much as a mechanic. Like the coil head or the spring head. These are very difficult to deal with. One of the more annoying enemies, they are extra difficult to deal with on any mansion levels because you don't have any pressurized doors that the terminal guy can seal so that's a little tough you can seal them without a terminal guy 
if there's a circuit box nearby, because when you unpower the pressurized doors, they will open. So if you flip the fuses on the circuit box to the right, it will open certain doors, and then you could get a teammate to bait them into the door, have them wait on the other side and just keep them in it, and then the other person flips the fuse back on, with which is an inferior version of them. you just having a terminal guy to do it. But if you don't have one, that's an alternative option. You can also just use the circuit box to get around if you want to you know, open all the doors, you can just flip all the power off. So the coil heads can only move if they're not being observed, but it's a line of sight thing. So they can still move if you are looking at them through a pipe or something. Doors can kind of work against them, like regular doors, but you kind of have to keep looking at the door as you're walking away because you want to break line of sight with it. So once, once you break line of sight and it can't quickly move through the door, you can get away sometimes. And... If there's no good doors or pressurized doors to seal up behind, you kind of just have to designate someone to babysit the coil heads. What I see a lot in public games is people will just all panic and all stare at it. You just have to speak up. You'd be like, all right, I'll watch the coil heads. You guys go. And and then you can try to get some loot. But if you let one coil heads, you know, stun lock your whole three or four group, you're kind of screwed. The ghost girl, she will appear before her chosen target and mouth breathe like five times. And then when she appears past that, she will start to skip towards you. She if she touches you, she will obliterate you with her oh, massive shit. forehead, <laughs> making <laughs> your head, head like, explode. And and that's face. not good because then she'll target somebody else and just take people out one by oh, one. She so if you get haunted, try to stay alive. Oh, she you can haunted. run away from her. You can even oh, leap over. over her as she is How running she at you there? and survive. What? You can use the railing trick to also stay just alive like the same stepped. thing that works against uh -oh. everything else you just get on a railing and you scoot over to the other edge of the railing away from the place that she'll be uh -oh. at and uh -oh. she can't reach uh -oh. you uh -oh. it's a little cheesy but that works you can Walking also if you're in the ship you, jump, you, you can press wheel. b on the cupboards <laughs> which allows you to you. phase through it while you're in the building placement mode and then you get in the middle of the cupboards you jump and then you scroll your mouse wheel at the apex of your jump. So you'll actually be on top of the cupboards. Scrolling your mouse wheel will cancel the building mode and make the object solid oh, again. I'm, so I'm then haunted. you can just crouch on top of the cupboards and be scared and invincible to the ghost. Yeah, the fuck do does mean? that mean? I mean, she's watching me. She's watching me. I'm gonna die. <laughs> okay, let's just I go, guess. let's just go then. Yeah, what the um, fuck, who's watching you? <laughs> the girl. You guys wanna see? Oh my god! <laughs> what the hell? You <laughs> get the fuck out of here! <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> now for the jester. Or the jack in the box. These guys are very troublesome to deal with. You kind of need a terminal guy and a dead end with a pressure door to immediately seal it once it starts following you otherwise it's going to give you big issues once it spots a player it will follow them for like 20 seconds and be careful not to get it stuck in doorways as that will get you killed for sure and once it's done following it will start cranking it and it will crank it for like another 25 ish seconds welcome in Sounds like she's dead. Once it is done, it will go into murder mode and it knows where everybody is and ramps up speed to insane levels and will stomp very loudly. So you're kind of just dead if that happens. Everyone must leave the facility when that happens. Everyone has to get out. If it's in murder mode and there's nobody left inside, it goes back into box form almost instantly. So you just have to evacuate, start taking stuff back to the ship so you don't waste too much time. And then by the time you get back, he'll, he'll be done and you can go back in. They're 
they're really annoying. There's not much you can do against them. You can technically stun grenade them, but it only stops their cranking for like two seconds. That's incredibly not worth it. You can't kill them. You can't kill a lot of these annoying things like coilheads or jesters. But what you can do is seal them. That's pretty much the only thing you can do. Or just try to avoid them. Here's a bonus tip for Titan. This is the sped up method here that I use to get items from outside of the main and fire exit of Titan to the ship in an extremely small amount of time. You just toss all the stuff on the landing just below the top and you put the ladder down at this angle you can see here, like 30 degrees to the left or so from the corner of the landing. And when you drop all these items all the way on the edge, mind you, if you drop them more shallow, it will land on the staircase and you'll have to recover them. But if you go all the way to the edge, you can put them basically in front of the ship. Very convenient. 